Hi, my name is Simone and today we're going to talk about what my radon levels mean. Radon levels are measured in becquerels per cubic meter of air. However, in the US it's picocuries per liter of air. Recommended radon levels vary from country to country. For example, in the US, the action level is 2.7 picocuries per liter. Here in Norway it's different and it's set at 100 becquerels per cubic meter. If you're not sure what your region's acceptable levels are, just refer to the World Health Organization recommendations. Okay, so now that you know your radon levels in your home, you also need to know what these numbers mean. Let's take a closer look at the radon levels. Radon levels up to 1.3 picocuries per liter are minimal and at this stage no action is really needed. However, you should continue monitoring. Up to 2.6 picocuries per liter, radon levels are considered low. Keep an eye on your daily averages and continue monitoring. In the meantime, you can experiment with ventilation and sealing cracks in the foundation of your home to reduce levels. Radon levels from 2.7 to 4 picocuries per liter are considered moderately high, so action may be needed. Experiment with ventilation and continue measuring your radon levels. If after three months nothing changes, you should contact the radon professional. Radon levels about 4 picocuries per liter are high and action is needed. You should contact the professional radon mitigator. So remember, maintaining low radon levels plays an important part in living a healthy lifestyle. There are a number of ways you can keep your radon levels low. Try improving ventilation, sealing cracks in the foundation of your home or installing a mitigation system. When you follow your radon levels daily with a digital radon detector, it is easy to see if more steps need to be taken. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or feedback, just leave a comment here below. My name is Simone, see you next time.